My earliest memory is living with my mother. I remember being three, four years old, and I remember having to make my own breakfast because my mother wouldn't get up. It was a month before my fifth birthday that I was removed from my mother's home by CPS. When I went to my foster home, I didn't have anything. I had nothing. I had a little brown suitcase, but there was nothing in it. I was afraid. These were strangers I was going living with. I felt that I wasn't going to be safe. I think it was the feeling of just having no possessions, not a stuffed animal, no toys, absolutely nothing of comfort. Okay, so Christian, how old is your little boy that you're packing for? Two. Okay, he's two years old. I've always wanted to do something with foster children, but didn't know what I should do. There was a segment on the local news about Carrying Hope, and it spoke about making backpacks for foster children who were entering into foster care, and I thought, oh my gosh, this is such a great idea. I want to get involved because I know exactly what that feels like. I can help you here. <laughs> this is a 10-year-old girl. Most of the children who are entering foster care are coming in a crisis situation. So there's no time to pack. There's no time for them to get their favorite stuffed animal. They are just leaving immediately and going to a new foster home. Caring Hope started in part because myself and our co-founders watched as children were coming time and time again to our doorstep with absolutely nothing. We make Hope Packs, which are backpacks filled with comfort items and essentials, and they have everything that a child would need for their first 48 hours in foster care. Wow, this is a lot of backpacks. It is a lot of backpacks. Last year, Caring Hope delivered 1,200 Hope Packs. We're hearing from CPS caseworkers, and we're hearing from foster agencies that it's giving the kids something to their name for the first time, maybe ever. My daughter and my son said, we want to do a, a backpack for when you went into foster care. So let's do one for a girl that was mommy's age. You know, they can't heal that part of my life, but maybe they can help another child feel special. I usually hope that even though it's just a bag with a ton of stuff in it, that they feel like that they're loved. It's not just a backpack, it's giving a child a feeling that someone cares about them. Okay. Someone's loving them that doesn't even know them. That someone is putting thought into that backpack for them to make them feel like a human being. That, that they matter. And that's why it's so important to me to do this for other children. I don't know what to do. Do you want to do it like that? Okay.